Today's ridiculous theory, the country of Ireland is made up of millions of tiny islands. Hence, the Million Errors Conspiracy. Hey guys, Minus here playing some Catriel! Uh, Million Errors Conspiracy. And, uh, yeah, we are outside Madame Dublay's house. We need to find out what she actually wants from us, so let's head inside. Finally, we can go into the entrance hall and get the case. And, uh, there's a kitty over there. It's like a bagpuss style, um, teddy. I shall go and tell Madam that you've arrived. If you've got no way to hear a moment, please. I forgot what voice I was using for her, but that's the new one. <laughs> I say, the interior is even more amazing than the exterior. Look at all these tips of furniture. Yes, the furnishings are very elaborate, aren't they? These carpets are of the highest quality. But what else do you notice, Shell? What a, what's apparent from this hallway? Well, uh, there's a lot of cats. Soft toy cats, cat ornaments, cat pictures. She's clearly batty about catties. Oh my god, there's a cat in a suit up there. That's amazing. Oh look, here she is. Oh dear. No, I specifically requested Professor Layton. I certainly didn't ask for a young parvenu like yourself. Oh, people are still demanding my father's services. You're obviously not abreast of the situation, madame. Pardon? Allow me to clarify. I will solve this case in my father's stead. Hmm. Very well, I suppose as long as it is solved. You must recover my dear lost Wexy Wexy post haste. Wexy Wexy? Sorry? Oh, my precious Wexy Wexy! Where have you gone? Whoa! I'm so worried! I can't sleep at night! Oh. Is, it, is it a lost, no pe lost pet inquiry? It's a lost pet inquiry, isn't it? I simply have to find my poor Rexy Wexy. But before I trust you with the task, I must be sure. Sure? Of what, madam? Of your abilities, darling. I don't permit any old riffraff in my employ, you know. I am one the best. Still, I imagine a draws with the great Professor Layton would have no trouble with a country such as this. Mm. Yeah, so... We, we, we exist in the shadow. The shadow of the great man that is Professor Layton. Puzzle number 43, Puzzling Pearls. Here we have some mysterious shells. When you close and reopen them, the number of pearls they contain doubles. Max number of shell pearls each shell can hold is eight, and the shells cannot shut if they have five or more pearls, more pearls inside. Can you make each shell contain five pearls? Select a button above the shell to double the number of pearls it contains. It's possible to move one pearl at a time from one shell to another by holding and yeah, 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 yeah. okay. If you select the arrow button above a shell, it will briefly close and then open again. The number of pearls inside will double. Max and pearls. Okay. So we can just keep moving them, right? What's to stop us being like, yo, I'm going to just keep moving these? Uh, is this not something we can do? Is this not... Like, does this not work? I mean, the problem is we end up in a situation like that, but we can just do this. And move it back. What was this? Isn't what was that puzzle? One? What was that? Puzzles no! That. Yeah, solve it in nine steps. That would have been a puzzle. Sol like, just do it? That's not a puzzle at all. I mean, I kind of want to go back in and try and solve it in nine steps to actually give some kind of modicum of puzzling, but no. Alright, fine. Uh, are you sure now, Madame Dublay? Have I proved my ability to you? As I say, I've got his voice. Yes, that was most impressive. I feel quite reassured. Congrats, miss. Now we can continue to find out what this case is all about. At last, Ernest says what we are all thinking. Uh, unfortunately, that's probably not going to happen because we need to look around for hint coins first. So we've got a lot of cats. A lot of cats. This is looking like my uh, future home, let's be honest. Uh... We've got Sir Cattington the Third up here on the stairs. We've already found three hint coins, which is surprising. It makes me think that maybe there are other things to find, such as this over here, this portrait. What even is that? What's up, pussy cat? Wah 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 ah. <laughs> There's a puzzle hidden behind this picture. Yeah, we're looking behind pictures now. Uh, Catriel's a bit of a, a bit of a rogue, I think. Let's see, uh, that would be her D and D class. Shell, why don't you try and pound out the answer? 
Sure, let's do it. Robots take the cake too. Oh, it's this again. I know this. So, you've got to do at least five. You've got to do a lot more than five. Oh, man. And then you're just doing whatever's left in the middle, I assume. So I am going to do some in the middle. Yeah, you need to start doing them. Uh, you're fine. Right, you need to stop. You need to stop. You need to stop now. Middle guy, just stop. I think I've screwed myself over. I don't think I've left myself enough moves to one on the right. Uh, but we shall see. Yeah, I've definitely not left enough movement with one on the right. Only by one thing, though. Alright, let's undo, 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 undo. Let's actually uh, try again, so that we know that the undo stack's gone all the way to the front. Right, it's you that had the problem. So, we don't need much from the middle guy. Middle guy, honestly, is not going to do very much at all. He's going to do a couple. But that's pretty much all that the middle guy is going to do. And I need to leave some space at the end for him to do... Yeah, no, middle, middle guy is now done. And that is all we need. Cool! A good is something yeah, it's just, a, it's just a slightly more difficult yeah, version of the uh, one we had before. But again, it's, it's all about those outside conveyor belts, because you realise those outside conveyor belts can only be done by one robot. So they have to do in, have enough moves to do uh, all of theirs. And then the middle ones just take care of themselves. I bet Alex Lipsky wishes he had some robot helps once in a while. Certainly. Alex Lipsky, is that is that meant to be a pun of something? Like, it's one of the few names in this game that doesn't feel like it's been a pun. Oh, whatever. Uh, we've solved 44 puzzles! That's a lot of puzzles. Oh, man. I certainly wasn't expecting to find a puzzle behind a painting, or be made to solve it. There are puzzles everywhere in the world, Cheryl. It keeps us on our toes, doesn't it? Or in your case, on your balls. Certainly. <laughs> Alright. I think, okay, well, we've I think we've found everything, unless there's a collectible to find, but I would not have a clue where to even begin looking for that. Uh, I guess we'll talk to you first. I'm afraid you'll have to ask Madame if there's anything you need to know. Alright, well, that was useful. And now let's talk to the Madame. <laughs> That was a good opportunity to look around the room. So, madame, perhaps you could tell us what it is you'd like us to do. Naturally, that's the whole reason why I asked you here. It's really quite simple. My poor Rex managed last day to see. You simply have to find it for me. And this Rex is the Rexy Wexy you mentioned before, I presume. Yes, my beloved pet. Oh no, Rexy Wexy is so much more than the pet. He's family, I tell you. And you say Rexy Wexy vanished. Oh, it's too awful. I've looked everywhere for him, but he's nowhere to be seen. Oh, Rexy Rexy, where have you gone? It's a mystery, Miss Slater, a complete mystery. Alright, when we investigate, we shall leave no stone unturned. We shall find him. We will track him down without a moment's delay. I'm simply beside myself with worry. I'd like to ask you a few questions about your missing pet, if I may. Let's do anything I can to his... Oh, my goodness. Oh... Uh, is she going to suddenly have noticed Shell? No, the time. Okay. <laughs> Look at the time! I'm terribly sorry, but I have a lunch engagement. Dear me, my appetite isn't up to much at the moment, but one must keep up appearances no matter what. Just a moment, please, madam. I would naturally assist you in the search if I could, but these business luncheons are quite unavoidable. I'm confident I can rely on you. You'll find my Rex Mexi for me, won't you? No, do excuse me. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you get out of here. We'll uh, we'll just have a look around, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I don't really know where we're gonna go, but uh, we'll just have a look around. <laughs> this is gonna be a challenge. No clues, no nothing. But it's far from ideal, but we'll just have to work with what we have. What we have, we have nothing but a name and a stupid one for that, especially for a cat. There's no such thing as an easy job. Where do we begin? Oh yeah, Shell's Shell's taking the lead on this one. That's right. We start right here in this room. Foundation of all good detectives work in the investigation. We need to sniff out more investigate information about this Rexy Wexy. Sure. Uh, I mean, do we want to have a look around? I thought this was some kind of filler, then I thought it was a bomb. 
Really? Okay, I mean, sure. <laughs> we thought it was a... Shell thought it was a bomb. This, is, this bodes really well on the investigation. Uh, that nest looks like an antique. It's rather understated, but I expect it's worth a small fortune. And let's not forget the obvious. The whopping great stuffed cat is sitting on it. It's cute, isn't it? I wish I had one. Cute? Really? I think so, don't you? Oh, yes, of course. I could never rival you, miss, naturally. Now is not the time for the cheesy lines. <laughs> Strange, though. Cats are usually very destructive creatures. But there's no signs of scratching or gnawing any of their toys. No claw marks and no teeth marks. So Rexy Quixie is an upper crust kind of cat. Scratching and gnawing are beneath him. <laughs> Jolly good show, you're like a real detective. Right, that's, that's clue number one has been acquired. Oh, we have a... We have a number of clues that we need to acquire. I'm going to look at uh, Sir Cattington III up here. Uh, is it more useful usual to have portrait ancestors? That, that, I mean, that is Madame Dublé's ancestors, isn't it? <laughs> I feel I feel like she, she was probably descended from cats. Alright, what's what are these over here? Each cat has a slightly distant expression on its face. What an interesting decoration. I'm going to have a look at this on the table then, I guess. This is probably the next one to have a look at. Oh, there's a puzzle here. There's another cat toy here as well. They're everywhere. Oh, that's reminded me of a puzzle I know about cats. This reminds me of a puzzle. That's a line I've not heard in a while. Puzzle number 44, Pairdy Cats. These ten cats need to be divided up into pairs in accordance with the following rules. There should be three pairs of cats of the same type. In other words, the same shape and colouring. If a cat is wearing a ribbon, the other cat in the pair must also be wearing a ribbon. Uh, Alright, so we can move things around fine. Uh, there should be three pairs of the same... Three pairs of cats of the same type. Okay. Uh, done. Uh, three pairs of cats of the same type. So there are three pairs of cats of the same type. Fine. Happy? Happy with that? That's a rule? It's followed? Cool. If a cat's wearing a ribbon, the other cat in the pair must be wearing a ribbon. Fine, 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 fine. Is that it? Is this the is this the solution? Because we can't pair those two up because one's got a ribbon, one's not. We can't pair those two up because they don't match the cats. I'm going to submit it and assume that I've understood, that I've understood the rules correctly. I have, alright. Excellent. Easy. That's a 40 picker app puzzle. I question things. <laughs> Very good show. That should only be a doggy treat. Oh well, you know, it was nothing really. So in the most prominent position in the centre of the room, we have a large bunch of flowers and a soft toy cat. Mm. Which just goes to show how much she adores cats, surely. A cat lover. The worst kind of people. Alright, well I've looked at that. What's, what's the last thing? What's the last thing we need to look at? It's not going to be one of those. Uh, is there anything? Maybe that? No. I'm just going to tap around a little bit. We've got a chandelier. That's already been looked at. Flowers and a soft toy cat. Is it just going to be you? Do you? Are you the last thing we need to look at? Madame is very busy, you know, every single day. Madame is a consultant to a multinational retail with 27 different departments selling everything from cat food to expensive jewellery. That is a very broad range. Uh, so she really treasures her time with Rex, you see. He's such a tribute to the influence on her. Find Rex would be two at the moment, believe me. Oh, that was the last thing I need to investigate. Alright. Well, I think we've explored the whole way here enough, don't you? Madame Dublé certainly has a lot of cat toys around the place, that's for sure. Yes, gosh, if she's this much of a cat lover, Rex would be spoiled rotten. It's not much of a deduction, but I suppose that's about the only tale this room tells. Well, child, you know where Rex is, then? We've looked at a table and a desk, and she's asked me if I know where the cat is. I think we're going to have to broaden our search. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. Maybe if we can find tin puzzles, we can find a cat. Come on, now. The match is simply vast. Excuse me, detectives. I hope you don't mind me interrupting. Madam did say she was happy for you to look around the residence if it would be of help. Thank you very much. I wonder if you tell us which room Rex spends most of his time in. That would be Madam's parlour. He gets a lot of sun, you see. Rex always enjoys snapping in the sunshine. 
We would like to investigate the room if we may. Uh, has it been cleaned and made up since Rex's disappearance? No, it has not. We're going to find some cat hairs. And then somehow that's going to lead us to Rex. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure there's some like horrible... Um, horrible conspiracy going on here with the with Rex, but you know we I don't necessarily know what it is at the moment. Cat toys and ornaments Turns out uh, one of the six pieces of this puzzle is the fact that Madame Dublé is a bit of a cat person. As well as all the fire furniture in Madame Dublé's residence are a great made cat toys and ornaments. It would seem that she's a cat lover. Oh, cat lovers. How awful. But oh well. I mean, I guess I guess we're being paid for this. Are we being paid for this? We should probably clarify uh, before we actually go and put the work in. Anyway, <laughs> I guess let's move on. I don't think there's anything else here that we can find. So, yeah. Even more cat toys. I love the cat toys, though. This is Madame's parlor. As I explained, she did say she wouldn't mind if you need to look around. I must only ask that you be careful of the furniture and ornaments. It's all very expensive, you see. Gosh, my palms are sweaty just hearing you say that. Uh, palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's a picture of Rex in here which might help you. Just over to the left. <gasps> it's a kitty! That's who we're looking for. We're looking for a white kitty. You know that Rex is a boy, I presume. Yes, we've realised that, thank you. I hate it when he goes missing. I do hope you find it quickly. Right, we'll find we'll find the cat. Is it short for Shirley? No, it is not. Shirley's my dog's name. <laughs> We're now just this game just devolves to talking about pets. <laughs> Your dog's detective as well. I do hope you find Rex soon. He's very special, you see. <laughs> Woof. Pretending to be a normal dog for the main benefit are you? How considerate of you. Of. All right, and we've got another room to look around in. Isn't that a lovely space? It's so warm and inviting. I've got an eye on one of those plus trophies myself. So this is where Rex spends most of his time, which means we could very well discover an important clue in here that might lead us to the missing animal's whereabouts. Let's go find a clue. I thought I was in charge of this investigation. Stop trying to take the lead. I'm still the manager of the late detective agency, Shirl. You work for me, remember? You are my slave labor. It's a dog's life. Uh, let's look around. Let's have a look around. We've got five whole things to find. Oh boy. Five things. Well, I found a Paponio. Souvenir of somewhere. <laughs> uh, books about economics, international affairs. I'm also looking around for hint coins, so we actually have a lot of things to look around for in here. Uh, this cat looks like it's putting on airs. I think Sampion, such a dig find and find look. Alright, that's not one of the... Oh, no, that is one of the five things I need to find. Alright. Well, we found it. And we found a hint coin as well. Is there uh, anything in the fruit bowl that we might want to have a look at? It looks like... Yeah, that, that pear looks like it's been... Uh, it's got a bit of a bite mark. In fact, two, two of the apples that look like they've got kind of bite marks in them as well. Uh, presumably Rex is doing. Because cats are so well known for eating fruits, aren't they? Pinstripes. Maybe it's a bowl of fish. Perhaps Madame Dublé was hungry and couldn't resist taking a bite. Because well-to-do ladies are so well known for the lousy manners. Come on, people. Can you be certain it wasn't her? I think it's safe to assume it wasn't her. I mean, pretty safe, probably. I'm thinking maybe. The only thing I'm thinking, I think at the moment is maybe there's rats and she's gone off chasing a rat or something. Because I can imagine, like, a rat I can imagine taking a bite out of fruit more than a cat, personally. But, I don't know, maybe maybe we'll find something else. Uh, still having a look around. I know there's loads of things that I could have a look for, have a look at. But I'm trying to look at the things that are, un that are definitely unrelated for the moment. Because uh, I'm still looking for hint coins, after all, you know. I would absolutely hate to to miss any, you know. Oh, we found, oh, there's, there's a hidden puzzle. There's a hidden puzzle as well. One of Madame Dublé's. There's so much to discover around here. Three whole different things you can zoom in on. I don't know, this is this is far too much excitement for one day. Puzzle number 46, baffling bookcase. There's a photograph of a strange bookcase where up and down don't seem to make sense. Nope. To arrange the books as in the picture, 
or is a minimum number that would need to be glued to the bookcase to keep them in position? Uh, one. There's a photograph of a strange bookcase where up and down don't seem to make sense. To arrange the books in the picture, what is the minimum number that would need to be glued to the bookcase in order to keep them in position? Well, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that this is the ground. Because if you turn your head, that means that all of these are fine except for these two. And if you just glue this in place, then that can just rest on it. So I'm thinking the answer is one. But it does rely on a little bit of um, suspension of disbelief. Because these obviously are going to be vertical shelves. Now, is that allowed? Who can say? But I'm going to guess it anyway. I'm going to guess at one. Uh, if one is not the answer, I'm going to be a little bit displeased. Uh, I don't see anywhere else that could, could be a problem. It does kind of look like there are gaps between the books on that bottom shelf, but I think that might just be the shading. Because uh, alternatively, I mean, if, if we can't take it as suspension of disbelief that maybe this, these are this is sideways... Then the obvious answer is three because of these. No, the obvious answer, yeah, you'd have to glue all those up as well. So you'd have to count all those. That seems like a red herring. If we turn the whole thing upside down, then you'd have to do these two and all these. Whereas if you just turn it sideways, it's just the one. The other way up, yeah, you'd have to do all these as well. So I'm, th I'm thinking one is the one is the answer. But it's probably going to be zero somehow. All right. Alright. Think about how the bookcase is positioned. Alright. So we're we saying it's the other way around, that this is actually upside down, and the answer is actually one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that the red herring is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Are we saying it's nine? I mean I don't I don't know, I don't I don't get it. Uh I'm think oh wait, 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 I'm thinking I'm thinking it's zero. If this is lying on the floor, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> if the bookcase is lying on the floor, then it doesn't matter. I've seen how to solve this now. Any uh, uh, <laughs> sure, sure. All right, I fell into the trap. I fell into the very obvious trap. <laughs> there, I've solved it. Should I write the answer in this book here? Let's deface Madame Dublé's books. I don't see why not. <laughs> Puzzles are no fun if you don't work out the answer for yourself. That's true. That's true. Avoid spoilers where possible. I like. I like it. I like your attitude, Catriel. You keep having that attitude. Was there another thing I could zoom in on somewhere? Uh, oh, that. So yeah, this looks like it's had some bites out of it as well. Maybe they've got like bugs as bugs then or something like worms or uh, something like that. Something that would bite fruit and plants like any organic matter. Is it just me or does it look, anyone else think this plant looks like it's been eaten? I wonder why there would be teeth marks in a plant like this. I think I find that while cats are carnivorous creatures, they do at times eat plants. So I expect it's rexidum. Really? Cats eat plants? Why would they do that? To help them regurgitate hairs or other unwanted things in their stomach or for nutrients, there are numerous theories. Although I'm not entirely sure they normally eat this kind of plant. Alright, well that's a thing that we have discovered. It was merely a light snack. I mean, it's always possible. <sighs> but no, I think there's, there's definitely something going on. There's probably some other, some other creature around. Uh, maybe monkeys, in fact. 
<laughs> like, I don't know how the banana plays into this, but sure. Watch where you're treading, Ernest. There's some banana skins on the floor there. Gosh, you're right. I probably have fallen fast on my face if you warned me. And the window's open, so you probably have fallen out of the window. Because that is really dangerous to have, like, a full-size window. Unless it's the ground floor, but given that it's just sky outside, I don't think it is. You wouldn't expect to find banana skins left lying around a place like this, would you? No, it's little unexpected, but it seems reasonable to assume that someone ate some bananas and dropped the skins here. Presumably Madame Dublay, seeing as this is her parlour. Another woman who can't be bothered to sign up after herself, eh, cat? <laughs> At least I don't leave banana skins lying around. Alright, this is an actual clue. Banana skins. What was the first clue again? I forget. Oh, the first clue was the cat lover thing. Cat lover, banana skins. Yeah, this is all pointing towards another creature. Um, that is coming in here, and I assume Grex has either been taken by it or has chased it in some way. Uh, I just realised uh, what time it is, so next time, um, when we return, I guess we're going to uh, keep looking around this room. We need to find another clue. Um, I can't. I think we've got all the hint coins. Either way, we'll find out when we come back to review, uh, when we come back to do some cleanup around here. Uh, next time, yeah, we're gonna find out what's going on, yo. Why's all the stuff been eaten? I don't know. Because we found, yeah, we did find that um, she wasn't the kind of cat to even chew on toys or, or anything like that. So, yeah, I don't think this was Rex. Oh, he wasn't even, sorry. Uh, I don't want to misgender the cat. That would be terrible. See you next time, folks. Oh, there's, there's, there's some fashion farthings. Uh, just having a little bit of a tap around. So, man, this post-episode hint coin discovery is apparently going to be a thing. <laughs>